IGN's Rewind Theater brought to you by Destiny, coming spring 2014. Pre-order now for exclusive access to the beta. Hey everybody, I'm Ryan McCaffrey from IGN, joined by IGN's newest recruit, Brian Albert. Welcome to the team, sir. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Well, we're going to uh, throw you right into the fire, sort of literally here in a sense, with the Call of Duty Ghosts launch trailer. Even though the game's not launching for a few weeks yet, we've right. got ourselves a launch right. trailer. Right, plenty of explosions and fire in this trailer, though. Yeah, so uh, we're going to we're gonna pick apart the, the little bits and pieces we can, we can identify, as well as I wanted to keep track. I noticed a couple of themes here, Brian. The number of Riley sightings. Lots dog, of dogs, yes. Yeah. And uh, the number of times a vehicle slams into something else, because that seems to be a new the thing. In sure, Call of we'll Duty have to keep goes. track of this. There's one right there. Yeah, we'll, so we'll uh, we'll get to them. So let's let's go all the way back to the beginning. And of course, we we kick off right away. Bad things happening on a battleship. Yes. Uh, America is, is being attacked by its own satellites. Yes, that's the premise. Uh, America gets attacked by what the Odin satellite? Correct. It fires yeah, these we'll like, tungsten rounds. Yes, and we will see that in a bit. Oh, and uh, one thing actually right here. I noticed that. Oh, go ahead. Oh, back up a little bit. There we go. I noticed that Ferris wheel, and oh, immediately yeah. I thought, okay. Santa Monica Pier? See, that is that as well. I also thought, like, maybe Chicago, but it seems like a lot of this game is uh, restrained to, like, the southwestern United States. Yeah, in fact, the last trailer, uh, which when I think Bobby and I were breaking it down, it was uh, San Diego. Was, There's was, a big Ferris wheel yeah, there? Yeah, okay. well, there was a lot. The, the trailer was taking place a lot in San Diego, so... Mm -hmm. We may, in fact, still be in San Diego here. Yep. There's Riley sighting number one, yes. by the way. And this is the, uh, it is confirmed, this is the homecoming mission where you're actually fighting off a Federation attack on L.A. So uh, it looks like you'll be going there as well. Yeah. Haha, -ha, plane. No. Does that count as a crashing into some? No, it just gets Well, it's just, yeah, it's getting hit by, by an explosive. That doesn't count. So. <laughs> <laughs> we won't count that one. Judges? No. So, yes, uh... Riley sighting number one. All right, right here, you're in a helicopter, which you mm -hmm. can tell so you can see the rotor blades up top. And I don't know if uh, I was able to see it. Check that out, Brian. I believe that is another attack helicopter. So a little helicopter on helicopter action okay. here. Into the beautiful sunset. Exactly. Uh, um, because why not? Perfect, yeah. Uh, and actually, would you mind backing up a little bit to the skyscraper you bet. Uh, moment there? There's actually a mission uh, where you are in... Caracas, which is the capital of your Federation enemy, uh, and it starts on a skyscraper. So this might very well take place in that. There's yes. also a mission in Las Vegas, but since that's in America, which is decimated, the city looks a little too pristine to be Vegas. Yeah, uh, so that definitely doesn't look very. You can see in the background there, not particularly Vegas. Not Vegas, yeah. So uh, I would assume that this is uh, in that that Caracas mission. But right here, you can see a helicopter battle going on as mm -hmm. well down lower. I wonder if that's the same helicopter battle that we saw two seconds ago that they've just they're maybe just Riley's showing, piloting it, showing from a different angle. Yeah, <laughs> I'll go check back. <laughs> that this is we don't we see what does this. However, we assume it's <laughs> a high explosive. Sure, the the sort of munitions needed to to raise the earth like that. Yeah, I I'm guessing it's one of those tungsten rounds fired from the Odin satellite. Quite possibly. Um, but now we see. So here we see our. Uh, by the way, here's uh, I mentioned the top. The number of times a vehicle slams into something else. I'm gonna count this because even though it got blown up, it then it then. Yeah, uh, nearly kills our hero here. Yeah. Which, by the way, so we we weren't quite sure wh yeah, who, who this, this guy is, is here because this this could be uh, Logan Walker, right? Which is one of the playable characters in the game. This could be his brother Hesh, mm -hmm. although it, although it didn't didn't seem to look like Hesh. But you also had a good idea. This could also you you think uh, what? I think this could just maybe be a civilian, like maybe uh, early in the game when this, this Odin satellite decimates the United States, you know, we just see, hey, you know, the United States is getting destroyed and here's people dying and there's explosions everywhere. So I think it maybe could just be that too. I don't know. I think this guy looks a little too cool to be just a regular civilian. He does I'm, look pretty I'm cool. I'm pretty sure he is one of our major characters. It's just yes. a question of, uh, is it Elias Walker it, at the time of the original attacks or is it later... And is this low? I think it's Logan. It definitely could be. Um, but it, yeah, it's definitely earlier because he's not wearing any, you know, military outfit. He has right. no weapon. Yeah. It so seems uh, like, oh, right here, cool. we saw this sort of weird sky tram thing in the last trailer, uh -huh. which just is, it's just very near futuristic. It is. It fits right in with the game. Yep. What, 2023 is when this is set? Yeah. Yep. And uh, here's our second 
Or rather, I guess now we're up to our... No, yeah, second Swimming. instance of a vehicle slamming into something. Right. Helicopter on train. Boom! Explosion, of course. I um, point out right here, uh, really good-looking faces. Yeah, they are, the yeah. New engine in the, he looks the pretty concerned. Engine. Yeah, it's not his best day no. right now. I uh, I saw the name there on the headband. You thought maybe that's just the, the brand of what I, he's wearing. Yeah, but. I think that might just be an O'Neill skullcap okay. as opposed to actually his name. Okay. I could be wrong, though. I believe you. <laughs> Blood on the knuckles there. Nice mm. touch. And... Nope. No. Whoop. Uh, there Does we that go. Count? Helicopter. That counts. That is a helicopter okay. slamming into, into something. Into an aircraft carrier? Yeah. <laughs> so there's uh, there's another one. Sure. Keeping score. But a pretty little fish yeah. there on the left-hand side. Did the fish get out of the swimmer's way is what's important. <laughs> we have we have, we've built a next-gen system for that. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to this mission uh, more than a lot of the other ones. When you're uh, taking down Federation subs using underwater assault rifles, yeah. it sounds pretty cool. Yeah, we've we've done it in Call of Duty before, but not on the new hardware. Right. Shark. Sharks. Problem. Yeah, I like that you're just casually swimming by the shark. Like, it's cool. It's yeah, all good. He's fine. What's up? He's looking the other way. He's yeah. going left. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, this scene here we saw in the original reveal. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, see, so we know. Blood type, O positive. Right. I was wondering, uh, that scratching on his weapon, is that um, sometimes people, are, like I think in Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, I could be wrong, you could get like yep. names of your weapons engraved you on there. That's probably what that is. Well, custom custom action. We're going to see more of that, I think, here in the trailer as well. Yep. Jumping off, I regret nothing. Uh, right here. And we'll see. Actually, let's go a little farther because we can see it. There's, you can see it again. Right here. So I want to point out a couple things. Uh, number one. The obviously the giant logo on the side. I believe that may be a clan logo, or a personal personal uh, decal of some sort. It that could you're, be. You know, um, that you're able to to make. Yeah, and I was also thinking, you know, in the past Call of Duty games, you have the backing of like the United States. Uh, you know, you're still very powerful, very much like a a powerful like threat in war. But in this, it's sort of like this, like more scrappy sort of fighting, and so like Very true. you know, having like decals on your tank or something written on there, it's not against any regulations. It's sort of like, you know, it's it's just something that I think they would do. And then the other thing I wanted to point out that's actually a little tougher to see, but uh, if you look there on the turret, Black Phoenix. Now I mm -hmm. wonder that I think that's going to be one of two things. That's either your gamer tag, lay it on me, yep, or your clan name. Okay. I think it's one of those two things. Okay. That would extend into single player, you think? Well, it, well, uh, maybe, but I think we'll see that in multiplayer. Yeah. I think that may be even what this is. Okay, I like that. Oh, vehicle slamming oh, into yeah. the other thing. We almost You're missed right. like the most obvious one. Gosh, right, just right in our faces there. Tank. Yeah. Boom. Yep. Truck. See ya. I forgot where we're at. Four. <laughs> I think so. I'm starting to lose count. Okay. We saw this scene before in another trailer. There's another Riley sighting, right. by the way. Mm -hmm. And. Evil Wolves! Yes. Uh, this part is making me pretty nervous. The developers talked a lot about uh, making you bond with Riley because, you know, Riley's this useful character yes. for your squad. You don't even have to do that much work. Riley's a dog, and these dogs probably aren't going to be friendly with Riley. I think they're wolves. I don't no, think that's they're... What, yeah, yes, yeah. wolves. And there's four of them, and there's only one Riley. I'm, Actually, it looks worrying. like there's a fifth one in the back Wait, as I don't well. see it. Oh, so okay. Yeah. yeah. That's even worse. Wolf pack. Yeah, not hangover style, mm -hmm. though. Uh, oh, this is probably uh, earlier before that skyscraper collapsed. Probably that mission yep. in Caracas. Early in part of the mission. Capital. Good yep. call. Yep. We've seen space before. We have. Oh, no. Okay. And then, uh, actually, if you go back there. Sandra sorry. Bullock, no. <laughs> Gravity. I still need to see it. Me too. Uh, you can see on the lower, actually, while well, our little time code is. There it is. There it is. Uh, oh. Yep. Which Orbital Defense Initiative. Yes. Uh, and it was also on the the satellite earlier. So that's this uh, the satellite that fires these tungsten and rounds down and decimates the United States, which the Federation hacks and takes over, which is the whole premise, correct? Yeah. Um, I love that it's 10:10 10, 10 a.m. on our wristwatch there. That's it's oh. got the extra large wristband Early morning, wrapped yep. around what time the zone? space suit. Is there a space time zone? Yeah, so it's space daylight time. Great. Um, but yeah, this is uh, Mosley, who is a Air Force. Uh, she's in the Air Force, and she's on the Odin Station when it gets taken over. 
Um, so that's probably what we're seeing yeah. here. Notice the emergency pull strap on the on the little uh, device yeah. she's wearing there. I I'd think, say I think this counts. This warrants it. Yes, this counts. Exploding space station. And that's it. So uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, obviously going to be a big deal. A little, little something of a big deal. I've Speaking of it. San Diego, uh, a little, uh, you know, Ron Burgundy, kind of a big deal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, next gen, important. this is obviously all next gen footage, even though the game is coming to PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360, as well as Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and however much PC you can possibly throw at it. Correct. So, uh, you know, it's interesting. We still haven't seen really specific multiplayer stuff. You know, this is all cinematic campaign things. And I'm excited to, to, I am to give this, you know, single player for me is I've, I've kind of uh, liked it a little less the last couple of years than, I mean, I think Black Ops 1 was a brilliant single player campaign, but uh, I'm a big dog guy, so yeah, I, I think too. Riley is enough of a hook for me. I'm going to give this I don't a want try. to see something happen to Riley. It's, it's frightening me, but uh, I'll definitely check it out. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a fan of the campaigns for the most part. It's actually the thing I, I spend more time in, usually than multiplayer. All right, so Call of Duty Ghosts. November 5th, we'll have the review here coming up on IGN sooner than you think. For Brian Albert, I'm Ryan McCaffrey. For all things Call of Duty Ghosts, you're already in the right place. IGN. <laughs>